Hello dear friends, in this video I will show you how to use the animator for Photoshop. Ok, let's start. First, as you can see, I have uh, my document and I have my logo animator and icon of Photoshop and I want to create an animation for my logo or and for this icon okay first we need create a video timeline go to window find our plugin animator and create a new timeline you need uh, to create the timeline at once per one document. This means you don't need to create each time for each object create a line. Okay, how we can see uh, if we created the timeline? Go to window and click timeline panel. Okay, we created a video timeline and as you can see we have three tracks of our object it's two uh, smart object and my background is gradient okay let's start let's start with my logo animator first select your object in my case it will be my logo just duplicate it duplicate layer you can give any name as you wish okay after that go to our animator panel and select any effect you like let's see what we have also you can filter by type scale moving rotate bounce fade titles or something in 15 okay we need to create our intro it will be beginning of our animation okay let it will be scale bounce and click on in it's mean intro it's beginning of our animation okay let's create Okay, let's turn off for a while and let's see our animation. Yep, it will be begin our animation. Let's name start. Cool. Uh, let's create outro. It will be end of our animation. Repeat the steps. Select your object duplicate it okay and again go to animator and select any effect you like and click on out it will be outro it's mean end of our animation okay let's create down bounce outro Cool. Let's check it. Turn off my main object. Let's see. Cool. It will be end of my animation of my logo. Cool. Let's name it end. And select end and track in the end of our start and let's see what animation we created cool how we can increase our duration of our animation for this duplicate again 
it will be static. Oh, let's name it static. Okay. And let's set duration maybe a one second. Let's play and see our animation. Boom. Cool. I created animation for my logo. Cool. Let's group it. And give the name logo animation. Cool. Let's create animation for icon of Photoshop. Cool. The same steps as uh, I showed before when we created a logo animation. Just duplicate layer, cool. And let's see what we can add. Maybe bounce. Okay, I want to create intro with effect left bounce. Okay. Cool. It will be star. Let's create the end of our animation. Again, duplicate player. Uh, and uh, for example, I want to use fade simply fade fast fade outro okay hit end of my animation and fade cool let's create a static view just again duplicate layer give the name static for example icon cool I hide my extension and set my duration of icon animation like this okay let's group it and give the name icon animation cool these two objects uh, are our basic file and if you want to create something else just uh, make the same steps okay and we have two animated layers cool you can drag and your group of create animation to set start and end of your animation and let's see what we get okay I have animator and maybe I want start my icon animation from here and end here let's see our Cool. If you want to edit your duration of animation, just reduce a static and track your end of your animation. Just like this. Let's see. Cool. We created a basic and simple animation of two objects logo animator and icon animation. I think this video will be very helpful for you to create a WSM and creative animated effects for your object, text, shapes and uh, you will create a very creative presentation of showcase your portfolio. Okay, thanks for watching 
and enjoy.